Welcome aboard American Airlines Flight 2511, non-stop service to Denver. My name is Tara, the number one flight attendant. The flight crew for this flight is Captain Jeffrey Abol and First Officer Dave Mayhew. From Phoenix to Denver, our flying time will be an hour and 35 minutes and an altitude of 37,000 feet. Denver weather conditions, partly cloudy, temperature 35 degrees Fahrenheit, 2 degrees Celsius. Now please pay attention to the video screens for the safety information on the Airbus 320. Thank you. We do apologize. We're having a little trouble with our volume on our safety demo, so we're going to do this the old-fashioned way. Your safety is important to us. Please pause for a moment and give your attention to the flight attendants in the aisle. Luggage and personal articles should be stowed either in the overhead compartment or under the seat in front of you. To prepare for departure, close your tray table and place your seat in the upright position. If you haven't already done so, fasten your seatbelt, insert the metal fitting into the buckle, and pull the strap so it's tight across your hips. To open your seatbelt, lift up on the buckle. Keep your seatbelt fastened even when the seatbelt sign is not on, and just in case there's turbulence. Mm. Keep it in mind that keep it on when you're in your seat. U.S. law requires compliance with lighted and posted signs and crew member instructions. All flights are non-smoking. This does include e-cigarettes. It is against the law to tamper with, disable, or destroy laboratory smoke detectors. The safety card in your seat pocket explains the safety features of our airplane, including location, operation of exits, and flotation devices. This airplane has two exit doors in the front, two exit doors forward of the wing, two exit doors behind the wing, and two exit doors in the back. All exits have evacuation slides to use in an emergency when directed to, to exit, jump onto the slide and move away from the airplane. In a water evacuation, slides in the front and back of the airplane may be used as life rest. Additional wraps are located in marked overhead compartments. All exits are clearly marked with signs and opening instructions. If needed, exit path lighting in the aisle will illuminate near the floor to guide you to an exit indicated by signs and lights. Keep in mind the closest exit may be behind you. In the event of an emergency, leave all belongings and proceed to the closest usable exit. If needed, oxygen masks will drop from the overhead compartment. Remain in your seat with your seatbelt fast. Hold down the mask to start the flow of oxygen. Place the mask over your nose and mouth. Pull the elastic band over your head and pull the straps to tighten. Breathe normally. Put your mask on first before helping others. Oxygen is flowing even though the bag does not inflate. Your life vest is in a compartment under or next to your seat. Pull the strap to remove the life vest pouch. If equipped with elastic harness, remove the harness before opening the pouch. Take the vest out as shown on your safety card and put it over your head. Wrap the strap around your waist, attach the buckle and tight. Inflate your vest as you leave the airplane by pulling down on the red tab or by blowing into the red tube. Never inflate the vest inside the airplane. All vests have lights. They turn on automatically in water. If necessary, infant life vests will be disturbed by flight towns. The safety card shows how to use it. 